Good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome, come on in. Say hi as you hop on. Again, I'm streaming in, I think, I'm streaming in two different places, YouTube and Facebook, so come on in, guys, and say hi. Let me know you're out there. Welcome to my segment of Craft Around the Clock. Hopefully, Facebook is going to be nice today. Please, please, please. I know that the first two presenters were having trouble freezing up. I'm strictly on beta on my phone, so hopefully, they'll be nice and we're not going to have an issue. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, right? Okay, let me get my comments going here. Get rid of some pop-ups. Lulu, Lulu. Hello, 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 Karen. Good morning. Good morning, Lisa. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Get comfy. Get your coffee. Your OJ, whatever you got. Let me make sure I'm up and going here. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. <laughs> okay, guys, we got another thrift flip going on today, of course. Miss Debbie from Rainy, Florida. It's probably one of those rains that'll stop real quick and then it'll be beautiful the rest of the day. And anytime I've been to Florida, that's what it does. I think, oh my gosh, it's going to rain all the whole time we're down here. No, it rains in the morning and then goes away. So which I love. Ooh, South Carolina. Miss Lori's in the house. Hello. Hi, Brooke. Good morning. And Elizabeth. Hello, everybody. All right. If you guys saw the last thrift haul, this was another item. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that was in there that just needs spruced up. It just needs a little bit of a facelift, y'all. So, and if you notice, I am on time today. <laughs> I've got 45 minutes. So I try to work ahead so I don't run into the next presenter on Craft Around the Clock. Um, so I did just trim out two coats around the metal. I was not going to remove it. They are on there so sturdy and I couldn't get my little uh, gun in there to undrill, unscrew those. So do you like those sound effects? Yvonne, hello, good morning, Shireen. Upstate New York. Okay, so we are using DIY paint, and I'm using little black dress. And I'm going to use my new DIY paint brush. This one here, you can see the tip on it. It is called the Perfectionist. And in my link tree, I did put the link where I purchased my DIY paints and uh, paint brushes. And it's upcycled by Bree. So if you check the link tree, that should be on there if I added it correctly. So, yeah. But this is the one we're going to use. I've used this one before. I do like it. I like it a lot. But we're going to get started painting because we got to do two coats. Christina, good morning. Hi, Miss Mary. Miss Rita's out there. Hello. Patricia, congratulations, Grandma, again. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. It's, it's so fun. We're so blessed. We love it. We love it. Okay, so we're just going to get started painting this, and I do have some IOD products out that we are going to add some pretty detail with. Now, I do not want to paint the back of this. The back is good. It's got the little hangers and everything already on it, so we're good to go. We're not even going to... Like I said, if I get a little bit of paint over, then we will just take some sandpaper and clean it up, make it nice and neat. But yeah, we are not going to 
not gonna mess with the back. Our new grandbaby is doing good, keeping mom and dad on their toes and up off and on for feedings and <laughs> doing what babies do. Doing what babies do, I'm telling you. Cage was off that first week from work and he went back yesterday and Tyler was like, oh, I'm nervous for him to go back to work. I'm like, oh, hon, <laughs> you'll figure it out. You will, you will figure it out. So, but they are, they're doing, they're doing great. She is beautiful. First time catching you live in a while. Elena, hello. Uh, my schedule, I understand that completely. That's what's good about replays, I'm telling you. I enjoy watching my children become parents. It's awesome. It is. It's, it's awesome. I love it. Yep, I'm loving the new, new phase of life. Grandma phase. It's exciting. And it is. It's 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 neat watching your your children become parents. I was telling Troy last night, I was like, uh, Tyler thinks that she's got it tough now. Wait till she's a teenager. And that attitude, that teenage girl attitude kicks in. Believe me, I went through it times three. And it wasn't like they were spread out. So, they were all teenagers together. <laughs> and at the time, Troy was working out of town a lot then too. So, he was out of state for his job. Virginia, Oklahoma, oh, yeah, a lot of places, and yeah, I was at home with three teenage girls, three teenage girls, and attitudes, so I was like, oh, the first time she calls us, and is like, mom, dad, she did this, she said this, her mouth, I'm gonna be like, oh, hon, <laughs> yeah, it's called paying for your raisin. But it's all it's all fun. I love it. My granddaughter is about to turn 13. And my daughter is pulling her hair out. <laughs> it is. Oh. And I, I, me and Troy were both laughing because I'm like, oh, Tyler might even pop on and hear this too, but it's funny. Um, the first time that Olivia says to her mom and dad, you just don't understand, but you don't understand. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna be priceless, I'm telling you. If I had a dime for every time I heard that come out of that girl's mouth through high school, you just don't understand. <laughs> I had five teenagers at the same time, sons. Oh, we'd have to compare stories because I'm I'm just curious. Is the attitudes toward the mom as as are they as strong with boys as they are with girls? Because I, I didn't have a boy. I have all three girls. You wouldn't know it by their names, but because I got Drew, Tyler, Morgan. Morgan baby, but all three of them's names can be either way, but oh my gosh, the teenage attitudes. Miss Sheila, good morning. I'm having a good morning. How about you? Let's see if we got anybody. Oh, we do. We got two people out there on YouTube. I am going to figure out a way to stream, whether it's StreamYard or something, and be able to see my comments on YouTube while I'm going live. Because I only have access to the Facebook comments right now, guys. So I will get that worked out. But I thought I might as well just 
you know, that saying, kill two birds with one stone and go live on both sides. at the same time. I too have three girls, Tony. Mm. Yeah. All I can say is, it was always interesting. There was never a dull moment. Never a dull moment around here. Especially through high school. <laughs> I was ne never so happy to have all three of them graduated from high school. <laughs> oh my gosh. His attitude is real. In all caps. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> oh, Miss Pat, hello. Good morning, lady. Yeah, okay. This was my dilemma. I could not decide if I wanted to paint the knobs black also. I think I'm going to. I think, what do you guys think? Oh my gosh, yeah. There were never arguments between Drew with the girls, but the arguments and the fights between Morgan and Tyler, holy cow. You know, Drew was four and five years older than them two, so, and there were her stepsisters, but, and she would never fight with them, but. The other two, yeah, they fought. They fought. Leave them as is. Oh, you guys think so? Think I should leave them as is? Now we're going to do some white um, stenciling or uh, rub-on transfers on it too. So, but I am going to distress this back. You know what? I think I'm going to leave them because when I distress this back, I'm going to distress it back down to this wood. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to blend more. Leave the knobs natural. Hi, Miss Debbie. Thank you for sprinkling. I keep praying that my kids are more like their dad than me. I had a... Oh, I did too. I did too. I cannot lie. Out of us three kids, me, my sister, and my brother, I have to say I was more of a handful. I was more of the rebel child who didn't like being told what to do, and yeah, so I can't tell you how many times I've apologized to my parents. <laughs> I did. Oh, I've apologized to them over and over, like, how did you put up with me? How did you put up with me? I don't get it. But you do. You love them. So no examples of what <laughs> not to do. Oh, yeah. I was the middle child. I'm the middle child. And they would tell you that I was probably the more of a handful. And I see it now because me and my mama butted heads. Oh, we did. Love her to death. And we did because so we were so much alike. I was so much like her. I was the best. My two brothers were bad. <laughs> were they older or younger, Pam? <laughs> Kind of just like a little half coat. I don't need to get real close to the, because uh, I did trim this out in two coats, so we're good there. Oh, and y'all, you need to comment, comment. I forgot I had another set of earrings that I wanted to do as a giveaway, and I did not do those yesterday, so I'll do it on here. So what I'm going to do is, before I get off here, if I remember is scroll through and stop on 
a random name and they're going to win some earrings. So you got to comment, comment, comment. The more you comment, the better your chances are. I was the oldest, pretty sure the best. <laughs> oh, I see. Sparky's on here. Good morning. First notification I've seen for you in forever. Jessica, really, the notification on Facebook. Sometimes you have to make sure you go back and make sure you're following still because if Facebook does updates, you lose. Um, you won't end up, you will fo be following the same people that you thought you were following. I've had that happen to me. And also, if you watch a few, it'll Facebook will get it right back into your um, your stream again. Good morning, Kathy and Sarah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we're going to dry this. We're going to distress it back. <clears throat> Newbie from Missouri, Carol. You're in my neck of the woods. What part of Missouri? I am located in St. Clair, Missouri. It's tickled. Donna, you were the oldest of six. Oh my gosh. That's a household. That's like my husband. He is the second youngest of eight, seven or eight, <laughs> seven in the house. <laughs> Kansas City, Missouri. You are not that far from me, girl. Marlis, 13. Bless your mama's heart. <laughs> 13 of them. Oh. Couldn't do it. The second oldest is 17. I like the big family, even though I didn't come from like a really big family or anything. But when me and Troy got together and the first family function was a Christmas function, we went together to his side and oh my gosh, I had to go outside a couple times because I thought I was going to have like a, a anxiety or panic attack because there were and it's just done nothing but grow. It's probably doubled since then with kids. I was lucky with my three kids. My oldest son and daughter were 11 months and three weeks apart. Daughter was five weeks there. Oh, nice. Now, my two youngest, they, they fought. They fought. Just like me and my sister. Well, not probably not as bad as me and my sister fought, but <laughs> oh, but they are best friends at the same time. They could fight with each other all day long, but oh my gosh, somebody else messed with them? No. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Debbie. We had a huge family. Our Sunday dinners were generally about, oh, 15 to 20 people. And that's some people's just holidays, holiday dinners. <laughs> Oh, Christmas was absolutely great. I could imagine. Oh, I could imagine. Okay. Taking my little finger sander. This is also on my Amazon list, which I did add to my link tree. You guys would be proud of me. I was saying yesterday I didn't have it on there, but I do have my Amazon store link listed in the link tree below. And like I said, I also put... Uh, Upcycled by Breeze, uh, link in there too if you guys are interested in DIY paints or the brushes. Love them. How am I doing on time here? I forgot to even check the time. 7.30. Okay, we're doing good.
I'm going to do some good distressing. Like I said, I want to bring back that wood color to match the knobs. Like I said, I kept going back and forth. Do I paint the little knobs on them? Do I leave them? I think you guys are right. I think leaving them. Good morning, Beth. Oh, congratulations, Miss Deborah. That is awesome. Yeah, now that I can just get my oldest daughter to get her button gear. Keep reminding her that clock is ticking, babe. <laughs> She's just turned 30. Love the distress, uh, the distressed look. It's early, guys. My tongue is not working. Pronounce my words right. We're going to stick with that. Let me clean this up a little bit here and get some rid of this dust. I'll just turn that over there. And then we're going to add some transfers. I think we're going to put, I think we're going to do the white, white transfers here. And like I said, is see how some of that bleeds over to the side. I will take my um, sander and sand that off, make sure the back is all nice and clean. This will be listed on the website at thesimplespursstudio.com for purchase if anybody wants to, uh, is interested in, if anybody's interested in buying it. These little bags, they are also on my Amazon store list, guys. These are wonderful. Because when you start cutting your transfers apart, they want to slide, come out of the little sleeve. So I put them all in this little bag. They fit perfectly. The little bag zips up. Set that there. It zips to store them. It's got the little ring on the end to where you can hang them up. I love these. My daughter didn't start having kids until she was 36 and has three. She was 41 in April. She had her career first, she said. That's awesome. Okay. Like I said, this one here is the traditional POTS transfer by IOD. That is another link I need to add. If you're interested in any IOD products, um, Mara with uh, Vintage Retail Therapy. You can uh, check her out. That's where I get my IOD products from. We're using the white. Using the white ones there. So I think we're going to put two on there. Let me get this back in here because I got pieces cut and we're going to Slide out. I'm telling you, I love those little bags, guys. I'm going to be a grandma again in November. Awesome. I'm waiting on my daughter to have a grandbaby. <laughs> well, and Morgan, our middle child, who she gave us our first granddaughter, who's still in the Navy, she was never fond of little kids or just really was a comfortable around them even at church you know little kids she just like you know pat them like she was petting a dog hey little kid you know it was just like she was always just so awkward with them it was just it was funny um good morning vicky vicky newton wood that is my maiden name is newton and i don't see it very often okay you guys are not familiar with the transfers, you take the backing off. 
There's your transfer, the white transfer on your transfer sheet. And now once you lay it down, it's pretty much down. If you pull it back up, you're gonna lose some of your stuff. So make sure that you get it where you want it and then commit. And then they all come with a little plastic or some come with a little wood tool, but they all come with this, one of these. And then you just hold your transfer down and start rubbing over it. Let's hope my paint is dried and set up enough that it's not gonna cause me trouble. In the directions it will say to seal your paint first. But if you don't have time to let your sealer cure all the way, it doesn't want to release. So we're going to go with it like this. And a lot of times you can tell when it's released because it will get, uh, it'll change colors. And I like to pull my transfer sheet up, if you guys can see what I'm doing, as I go. And if you see anything that's still stuck to the clear transfer sheet, you just lay it back down and rub back over it and get it to stick. Miss Debbie, I checked on your package. I got your message. And I just checked on your package this morning. I will send you the tracking number. Or did you get it yet? Congratulations, I'm a grandmother of 12. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. I, my sister's got one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. And she said it is the best, best ever. It's, yeah. She loves being a grandma. If not, I will send you, Debbie, I will send you the tracking number as soon as I get off here. I did pull it up and get the tracking number, and that was as far as I got. And remembered that I was going live this morning. <laughs> oh. I got up and was watching Pat this morning and drinking coffee, and all of a sudden I was like, uh, I'm on today. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Oh, you guys. So then I just take my transfer sheet and I rub back over it and burnish it, make sure it's stuck down everywhere. You can sand over these if you want. It makes them look more um, aged. So let me show you this one. How am I on time? Okay, I still got 17 minutes. But look how nice that looks. And see how the um, distressing, I like that how it brings that all together. Nice. Oh no. Whoops. I missed something. I'm gonna have to go back and read that. I keep trying to scroll back to read in it. When school is closing Monday, I always forget the next day is Tuesday. <laughs> oh, well, I forget what day it is usually now because I retired. I say retired. I quit work. <laughs> I quit work in the corporate world <laughs> is what I call it. We're going to call it retirement. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I was like, what do I do with my stick? So, yeah, so I get to enjoy this all day, every day. Now, it's a blessing. It's 
So yeah, I forget what day it is a lot. <laughs> I do indeed. Start something if I can get a hold of it. Pulling <laughs> pulling it up as we go to make sure it's all down. You guys, if you have not tried transfers yet, you got to. These rub on transfers. They are I'm telling you, they are grown-up stickers on steroids. I love them. And it is amazing how you can take an old thrifted item that's dated, give it a little bit of paint, add one of these transfers or or two, one or two to it, and it just updates it. It takes it to a whole nother level, makes it look more high end. And then you've saved a piece from the landfill. It's given it new life so it can be loved for another 50 years. Oh, Tony, I'm telling you. I use both IOD and uh, the... redesign with Prima. Look how nice that looks. Very cute. Okay, now I am going to, you have to seal the paint for one because it is chalk-based paint. It is DIYs, well, it's clay-based paint, DIY paint. Um, same as like chalk paints, you have to seal them because they can be reactivated and uh, with water when they get wet and it will come off. So they have to be sealed, but once they're sealed, you're good. You're good to go. Put my little stick away, but the transfers, I like to seal them in too. They also need to be sealed in. So, but we're gonna start off with, because I do wanna richen up um, the paint the black paint, the distressing, and the knobs. And I'm gonna use Waverly's Antiquing Wax. I love how this makes the uh, black paint look really rich. So I'm just using a baby wipe. And then this is also a sealer for the paint, but I will, since this is gonna be on the website for sale, I will, once this uh, antiquing wax sets up, I will take and spray it with a acrylic spray. So I am going over lightly I am going to, like I said, this is going to distress it even more. The harder I rub, the more it's going to distress. And I want more of that wood showing through. It's just hard to get under that little knob. Okay, let me show you here what I'm doing. See how we got more of the distressing? just from using the baby wipe. And you can do as little or as much distressing as you want. That's all preference, it's all to taste. But since I left the knobs, The natural wood, I want to uh, bring back more of the wood through the distressing. 
I'm grabbing you one here. Bridget, first time here. Welcome. So glad to have you. I'm going to bring some of that out. <laughs> My fingers do not want to fit under there. Like I said, I am going over the transfer because I want it to look aged. I don't want it to look like it's brand new on there. Make sure I've got all the edges. And then with these being so rich looking already, this might not make a whole lot of change to them, but we are gonna freshen them up a little bit with the antiquing glaze. Good morning, Kim, how are you, girl? Oh, Vicki, okay, I gotta go back and I got, I'll go back and read the comments, guys. I got to see what all I missed. And don't forget, comment, comment, guys, because we are going to do a little giveaway real quick. I got to leave them set right here or I will forget. You guys know I'm phenomenal for that. I've done it so many times. Oh. I love how beautiful this is. Oh, I'm glad you guys like it. I'm telling you. Thrifted it. It was a piece probably a, a lot of people passed up all because they thought it was a little dated, but look at all of that. Look at that coming back through there, guys. All the distress is bringing back that natural wood, pulling in the little knob hangers with it. I did go over the, um, the transfers with the antiquing wax to uh, give them a little bit of a dinge color and it does seal them in. But like I said, I will, after this sets up and dries real well, I will spray it again with polyacrylic. And it will be listed on the website at thesimplespursestudio.com for purchase. If been, actually, it's on there right now. I did list it, but you're going to see it um, in its before state. I usually list it on the website and I put in the description um, what I'm going to do. I'm going to upcycle it or paint it or something like that. But the price that it reflects is it to is after it's painted. So you could pop on there now and purchase it if you're interested in it because the price will not change. The price is what it is. Only thing I will do is take new pictures and post the after pictures on there and add those to it. But yeah, like I said, I'll go back and clean up just around the edges a little bit on the back. It does already have the little hangers on it, if you guys missed that. So it's them. And it is all ready to go. Beautiful piece. Let me see. I think I even, on the website, guys, I even put the uh, measurements. I tried to put the measurements of everything on there. So this is about... 18 inches long by six, 18 by six. Just an awesome piece for an entryway, a mud room now, a kitchen, bathroom. You can hang um, towels on this. You can put uh, on it if you use it in the kitchen. Very versatile. All right, have you guys been commenting, commenting? Because we are going to... Let me wipe my hands off real quick before I take these earrings out of the package and show you guys. <laughs> oh. So 
because I have got stain and paint all over me and I do not want to muck the earrings up. They are cute, guys. They look like vintage little mushrooms. Well, they are mushrooms, but they look like the vintage. They're cute. Oh, we got another newbie. Hello, hello, and welcome. So excited. 122. Ooh, awesome. Okay, I hope everybody's been commenting because I'm going to show you what we're going to draw a name for. I'm going to scroll. I'm going to go up to the top, scroll, and click wherever my finger stops on whatever name. And if that person is still on here and responds, they're going to get these adorable earrings. I did do a whatnot order, and these were in it, just like the little birds I gave away last time, y'all. So cute, so cute. And they are the little, whoop. That's what the backs look like. Can you guys see those? So that is what we're gonna do. Aren't they adorable? Okay, let me scroll back, all the way back. Now let me scroll up and stop. And we've got is it Shireen Britton? Shireen Britton. I hope I'm saying that right. If you are still out there, Shireen, message. Put a message in the comments. Let's see um, if you're still out there. If so, you will receive the cute little earrings. Just came on, project looks great. How are those? Oh, Jane, they're awesome. They're awesome. They're doing good. <laughs> I see Miss Pat. Hi, Pat. We got to get together. Shireen, she says she's here. All right, Missy. PM me your mailing address. And I will get these shipped out to you as soon as I get your address. They are so so cute. There she is. Yeah, my next whatnot order, you guys, I got to put another one in. They've got some really cute stuff. They've got, look at this. We might even do a giveaway with these little, they're like glass mushrooms. Aren't those cute? I forget, I think I had five, five of them in a little bag. And then, so I got those. Thank you, Elizabeth. And then look at this little, little cat. Isn't that cute? I had all kinds of little goodies. The bird earrings that I gave away last time, if you guys were with me, those came from there also. So I'm just testing the waters, checking it out to see, you know, see what kind of stuff and quality. And the stuff that I did order was nothing like major, like I didn't do any clothes or anything like that. Um, but the stuff I did get, I did like. So the cat is so cute. Where are those from? Um... What did I say? What not? Timu. Timu's where I ordered them from. Such goodies. Yeah, that was my first order from Timu. I got a bunch of stickers um, for packages and stuff like that too. And yeah, they got some, they got some really cute stuff. Like I said, I can't really uh, tell you guys too much what I think about it, but the items I did get, I do like so far. So, cause I've only did one, done one small order. So so yeah, I did the Timu thing. But yeah, so you guys also do not forget, I, in the link tree below is my Whatnot link. I am, I did get approved to sell on Whatnot. It is a new auction site. Well, I don't know how new, but it's new to me. I will be doing um, live auctions on there. And if you go to the link in the link tree below, 
uh, for live streaming, for whatnot, click on that and sign up. It's completely free to sign up as a buyer. Um, you will receive, again, I can't remember if it's 10 or 15. When I signed up as a buyer, I got $15 free to use on any auction on there. It didn't have to be the person's that I clicked their, used their link. You can use it anywhere. And I actually finally used my $15 last night. So it was so fun. It is awesome. It is the easiest way to bid on items, guys. You have to check it out. And I do have a sale coming up on the 29th of this month at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you guys are interested, you can download the app, sign up under the link and you will get that free cash to spend. And then you can go in and check out, make sure you follow the Simple Spruce Studio. And then um, I've ordered a few items from Timu and everything I've gotten has been great. Good to know, good, good, good. Like I said, all the little things that I got were good, but you know, I didn't buy anything that's kind of hard to mess up, so. <laughs> But they, they got some really cool, and they got everything you can think of. So, but yes, make sure you guys join me on my whatnot sale. I'm going to try to have them. I don't know if I'm going to do it once a month yet. I'm going to see how this one goes. So, hope you guys join me then and support me. But I want to thank you all for joining me today. Make sure you go check out the next crafter on Craft Around the Clock. It's Tinker's Cart Art is up next. So, make sure you... Go over there and support them. I have ordered two. All right, guys, go enjoy the rest of your day. I want to thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Love you guys. Bye.